Hey guys, Henning and Morton here from Flip Normals. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about zero meshing, but more importantly, the alternate mystically hidden yes. <laughs> alternate zero mesh. So ZBrush actually has two algorithms for zero meshing. For the people out there who don't know what zero meshing is, that's just ZBrush laying over new topology on top of whatever you've done. Yeah. Trying to do it in a nice and smart way. And zero meshing is super powerful and can be yeah. used for a bunch of things. We went over this in another video talking about topology, where mm -hmm. I think we trashed zero measure a little bit. <laughs> but it's like there's, we might have. <laughs> there's definitely use cases for yeah. it. So, and uh, so we're not going to talk about how to use zero measure or how to optimize it best. It's no. it's purely focused on the alternate way of zero meshing. Yeah. So with a regular zero mesh, so like here we have a dynameshed uh, very blobby model now. This used to be a nice model. <laughs> yeah. Then, uh, Thanks. Then, then Morton, Morton destroyed it. <laughs> <laughs> then I destroyed it. So usually what you would do, you have the model like this, go to geometry and just hit zero mesh. And you obviously have your target poly count and you can do a bunch of fancy things here. So let's pretend we just press that now. We prepped for this. Yeah, we prepped for this. <laughs> and we end up with the regular topology, which, I mean, it looked pretty good, I think. You know, there are some, some really nice areas here, the mm. horns are nice. So keep in mind, this is also done with symmetry enabled. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 an important part. Yes, yeah, so in general, the zero mesh topology is, it, it, it is pretty nice. Like, what, what the reason we trashed it beforehand <laughs> in the other video is, when you look at this, you're like, holy shit, <laughs> this is so, so good. Yeah, you're like, oh, done. Yeah, topology but then finished. the moment you start actually looking at the loops, you start looking where the pulls are, and you start actually testing this with mm -hmm. rigors involved, they're going like, this is not great. Yeah. Like yeah. if you're looking at the flow of the of the of the foot here, like it's um, oh no, sorry, of the leg. Uh, yeah. It's just like it, it doesn't go all the way down. It kind of stops at the ankle. You want this kind of stuff just to flow nicely. So this is one of these cases where it looks absolutely wonderful. And if you were to do this by hand, this would take you like days to do. It's actually. In, but you see, <laughs> see, you get spirals, and there are ways to avoiding this kind for of stuff. For sure. For sure. But um. But in general, uh, don't just because it looks super nice, actually test it before you Another go ahead with this. Another thing that you run into often with uh, zero meshing is you have a lot of these, like the directional changes like this, where mm. you might not need directional changes. Yeah. A really good example is the uh, scrotum area <laughs> of this. Actually, a perfect example for this. I mean, this could be whatever, but yeah. you can see. So because we are symmetrically remeshing, sometimes there are hiccups where we end up with this. Where so technically now it wouldn't really be symmetrical. Mm -hmm. Like now we would need to split this into a triangle. Mm -hmm. um, another thing is, especially with cylindrical things, you end up with this sort of weird twisting motion. Yeah. So you can see it, it doesn't look too nice. Like it's actually not maintaining the silhouette. Yeah, the, the here, the this is where the topology is fighting with the shapes yeah, here. This yeah. is where the, this kind of topology really wouldn't be acceptable. And this is also one of the problems we have with sear mesh for that. If you were to fix that area by hand, like that's just gonna cause a lot of issues. Like yeah. fixing this by hand is is not a trivial task. So, uh, so then we have the alternate zero mesh. Yes, but don't do. take this as a now you don't have to do the polygy again. Now <laughs> no. you can just use alt zero meshing. <laughs> alt zero meshing is specifically designed, as far as we understand mm -hmm. from pixel logic, is specifically designed as a sim symmetry, a secondary symmetry algorithm yeah. when you're using zero mesh. Yes. So the way you use it is like. Go back to this. Let's pretend this one doesn't exist. <laughs> Geometry. And then you just hold down Alt while you click this. Yeah. And then it'll see your mesh again. And you'll have the alternative one. Yeah. And you can it's see... It's, it's, it is an alternative one. And you hold down the Alt key. Yeah, exactly. Like this so is... Uh, oh, that's it's so a smart. double Alt. <laughs> so you can see the scrotum has resolved really nicely now. Mm -hmm. um, we're also getting rid of all of this. So if we just compare the two... You can go from the side view just so we can see it a bit better. Like here, you can just re you can really see how it's fighting with it. You can see the flow really wants to go up here. Um, let's see, so we have a flow going that way there. But like, look at how it like it flows a lot nicer now. Yeah. So we're not saying that the alternate alternate version is better. It's just different. For it might work exactly. It, it, it might work better for certain things. For instance, if you're doing scrotums. Doing scrotums. See, we still get twisting here. Yeah. So it's like it's not like the 
be all do no. all solution. It's not the one hidden trick Seabers has, has kept for you, and this is this is a secret to it. Oh, that's that should be the title of the video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be. Um, let's let's take a look at the face here. So it it you know like Kenny said, it's it's a different algorithm. Might not be better, might no. not be worse. It's just different. One thing that's nice here is like look at this. We don't get the termination. Like we don't get this thing that goes around here. That might be something you want. Yeah. But in this case. We actually just get straight edges that just go all the way down there. Yeah. You also see, you can see this with, with the face. Like we don't have it in this particular example. But it's especially apparent in the symmetry line of more complex mm. models. Where maybe you would have a scrotum situation. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, which, they, which is a normal case. <laughs> <if you're... laughs> Super, that's normal. In, in... Everyday art is life, man. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not, like we said, it's not necessarily worse or better, but it's different. Yeah. And... I've had it, especially, I feel like, especially with, with cylinders, it can really come in handy. Mm. Um, where I was working on a creature where it was just like a big cylinder. And we actually didn't, oh, we actually didn't need good topology. So I actually just uh, zero meshed it for production. Oh, that's uh, really... Don't admit that publicly, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but the one time, um, well, it was covered in other stuff, so it's fine. Um, but like you can see here, it just resolves this area particularly, yeah. just a lot nicer. But that that is also our point with zero measure. It's not, it's not. It's it's a magic solution, or it's not. It's just a tool, and for certain tasks, it's a perfect tool. For a lot of tasks, it's not. But it's an incredibly powerful tool, and and use it where where it's it's handy for you. Yeah. If you were to let's say let's say this topology here was like oh you had a you had a tail here, or Morton's weird tail creature with tons of scrotum problems <laughs> <laughs> let's say let's say that was perfectly resolved with uh, serial meshing why complicate it right you yeah. know if it's like doing something like this by hand would take you it would probably take you like a few days and um like at minimum at least if you want to do it properly yeah. so if you can if you get there in like a second i mean that just means you can spend more time with the art side of it mm -hmm. spend more time texturing it and, and all that so fantastic tool for certain things definitely yeah and i, fi I find that the alt alternate way just eliminates a lot of the like these areas where you get this is something that's very easy to get with zero measure yeah. where so like it'll it'll do loops around within the model mm -hmm. and i feel like the alternate one is a lot better at resolving that it's just a bit simpler yeah and also it's actually if you check out the poly count so this as a beef i have with with Zero measure. <laughs> Just with software. <laughs> the default one, right? Right now it's set to adaptive and target poly count is 5,000. This ends up at almost 14,000. Yeah. With the alt one, you get closer. Yeah. I mean, we're yeah, still... Because for this one, you set it to 10,000, right? No, I set it to 5. Oh, I set it to 5. Okay. So it's still higher, but okay. it's closer. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I guess that could be yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah, another plus. 5K to 14K, you know, that's... <laughs> it's like a guideline. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's, you know, it's... um. Better in some cases like this, probably pretty good. Or it's, it's different here. I like it. Yeah. So that's really just it. It's really simple. Really just test it out with your models yeah. if you are insistent on using zero measure for everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you're a zero cowboy. <laughs> Even if you aren't, it's really, really good yeah. to play with. Hold down the Alt key, mm -hmm. click that zero measure button, and uh, you're good, good to go. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks, guys. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.